حي على الفلاح حي على نبينا محمد ولا آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله مي الله سبحانه وتعالى انكريز ان all of us knowledge السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته now brothers and sisters we come to a thing in the lesson in which if you have studied the tajweed rules makes life very easy and simple but if you are absolutely new to Arabic then this concept will take some time to sink in because Arabic language has 29 letters of alphabet. Most of the people, they will say 28. But I read one scholar. She's from England. She's a doctor of language. And when I read her book, I felt, you know, she was saying something which made a lot of sense to us. But then, if there are 28 letters, then you are using Aleph as a Hamza. But then what about Aleph itself? You know? But when you say 29 letters, then you are using 28 of them as consonant. And one, which is alif, is, has no speech sound. When you say ah, you did not say alif, you said hamza. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, out of those 28 consonants, they are divided equally into two groups. Huh? In English, we call them Moon letters and sun letters. Brother, are you familiar with it? Have you all done your tajweed, uh, Sister Abhi? Are you familiar with uh, this uh, moon letters and sun letters? Oh, I read about it last night. I went through the 
Okay. Sister uh, Salma? You sometimes, sir. Uh, Naima? Little bit? Uh, Muhammad? You have done. So what happens, brother? You have to now get used to this. Huh? In the sense... That maybe I should write down. Huh? I'll write down, brothers. Now I think I'll remove dun dan din. We, we know dun dan din now, inshallah. Don't take dun dan din lightly. It has a meaning in it. Huh? And it will remind you all the time. I, I, you know, I'm, I, I use different pens, but here I'm not using different pens, so I will, I don't know, how can I, maybe, maybe I will do a little trick here, inshallah. I leave, I will write the whole alphabet, brother, but then I will circle them. This is sun. Are you with me? This is sun. Now I am going to put them all, these are all sons. These are all sons. And then we have I am sure most of you know, brothers and sisters. Then we have Lam, also a son. And then we have Mean, which is not son. And then we have Noon, which is son. In my book, I wrote it in different colors. Huh? And then we have Ha, and then Wow, and then Ya. Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hmm? Now, since we are doing this, we have to <clears throat> learn little extra things, brother. Hamza. Are you with me? Hamza. There are two kinds of Hamza. We are going to learn two kinds of Hamza. One is called Hamzatul Wasal. Hamzatul Wasal. Hamza of assimilation. Hamzatul Wasal. Hamza of assimilation. And the other one is called Hamzatul Qata. Okay. Now in the Quran which are printed in India... Pakistan, they do not differentiate between these two, brother. They do not differentiate between these two. But 
the Quran which are printed in the Middle East, they are, Hamzas are clearly identified. And I think it is extremely, extremely important that we should follow the method which is in <coughs> coming from Middle East because Arabic is their language. They know it, okay? So, what is the difference, brother? <coughs> there are about eight or nine nouns in which, brothers and sisters, Hamza, when it comes, it's Hamza tul wasal. Okay? We are going to learn it slowly, slowly. You do not, I, I don't want to write everything on the board. I will just introduce to you Hamza tul wasal as it will come in the lesson. But I will try to explain you that in detail what happens with Hamdatul Wasal. Number one, if I write down brothers and sisters, Al Kitabu, what is this brother? No, Alif has no sound. No, it is Hamza. Alif has no sound. It is Hamza. Huh? What is it? Hamza. But you see, you are reading as Al. You gave a vowel sign on Hamza. And you gave a sukoon on Lam. Are you with me, brother? Every time you will see Al, you will read it Al without vowel signs. Huh? And you know there is a Fatah here. And there is a sukun here. You know it, huh, brothers and sisters. Now, I'm not putting them. Okay. If I write Al Kitab, I will write like this. But if I write, brother, what did I write down? What did I write down? Ahmad. Do you see I put the thing here? This is the neck of Ain. What is it? Neck of Ain. Huh? I put it. Huh? Okay. Hamza is written as a neck of the Ain. Okay. Tell me why I did not put here and I put it here. Probably, no. uh, you, you don't know, but uh, you, you can figure out, Sister Salma? Okay, I will explain. Yes. No, no, no. Because this is Hamzatul Wasal and this is Hamzatul Qata. When the Hamzatul Qata comes, you got to pronounce it whenever it comes and wherever it comes. But Hamzatul Wasal, Brother Hassan, it will be only pronounced if it begins, the sentence begins with it. Otherwise you will not pronounce it. Are you with me brother? If I say Al-Kitabu and then write down Jadidun, the sentence uh, begins with Al-Kitabu. But suppose if I were to add here Wow. Now what will become? Oh, why did you not pronounce Hamza, brother? Why did you not pronounce, brother? Any reason? Sister Salma, the reason is that it is Hamza tul wasal. It gets assimilated. Huh? When does it get assimilated? When it comes in the, in the middle or it has some other word or... Uh, Particle in front of it. Then you do not pronounce it. So what is this vow? It is ataf. Remember? Harfu ataf. Conjunction. When it came in front of Hamzatul Wasal, you did not pronounce. You will say, Wal Kitab. But if I had to write down here, wa, what will you do? Wa Ahmadu. You cannot skip now. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? 
You cannot skip it now. So here is the simple a statement about Hamza, that there are two kinds of Hamza. One is Hamzatul Qata and one is Hamzatul Wasal. Hamzatul Wasal, brothers and sisters, if it starts the sentence of it is in the front, then it is pronounced. Otherwise, if something else comes in the front or if it comes in the middle of a sentence, you won't pronounce it. But Hamzatul Qata, you will always, always, always pronounce, no matter where it comes. So how do we differentiate? How do we differentiate? So whenever there is a Hamzatul Wasal, you will not put the Hamza sign. Huh, Brother Samad? You won't put a Hamza sign. But there is a Hamzatul Qata, you will put that sign there. And because most of us are, our parents are from India, Pakistan, and we are used to India, Pakistan script, whenever you write, you always write like this. And my teacher always used to say, in a red ink, she would write down kata on it. To tell me that this is Hamzatul Kata, you must put the neck of Ain on it to differentiate. If you only wrote, then this is technically incorrect. You have to write down with the neck of Ain. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, in order to tell people that this is Hamzatul Wasal, you don't write anything, but you put a little sign. It's kind of a small swad. Huh? This sign, brother, tells you that this is Hamzatul Wasal. This is for those who uh, have difficulty, okay, in uh, identifying. But once you get used to it, you know it. Huh? See, it's like a, the beginning of a swath. Little. Okay? So this is what Hamzatul Wasal and Hamzatul Kata is. So Al, the Hamza of Al is Hamzatul Wasal. Okay? Now what happens if the letters are, in English, we call it moon letters. Huh? And in Arabic, we call it al huruful kamriya huh? moon letters al huruful shamsiya huh? okay that's why i try to put little <laughs> little uh, bit of extra here brothers and sisters huh? this is sun okay now when you have al coming brothers and sisters when you have al coming when you are Al coming, okay, if it is a moon letter, you will pronounce it. What will you pronounce? You will pronounce the the the, the lam. Huh? See, you will pronounce the lam. Right? Now here I have go to page number nineteen and see for yourself. Huh? Brother? Go to page number 19 in the textbook, brothers and sisters. What is the first, brother? Al-Abu. Huh? Huh? No, I did not put any sign there because that is Hamzatul Vasal. I did not put any sign because there is a Hamzatul Vasal. So it is Al-Abu. If I put Wow in front of it, Brother Abdul Khadr, it will become Walabu. Are you with me? It will become Walabu. Huh? So without anything in front, I will pronounce it as Alabu. I will pronounce it as Alabu. So I did pronounce Lam. Are you with me? I did pronounce Lam. But if I... Okay, the next letter, letter is Ba. And it is written here, Al-Babu. Are you with me? Put Vav in front, you will say, Wal-Babu. 
Compare that to Ta. Huh? We come to Ta now. How will you pronounce this now? Attajiru. You did not pronounce Al. Huh? You did not pronounce Lam. Okay, you did not pronounce, you skipped it. Huh? Okay. Attajiru. You see, your tongue has to touch, you know, the upper part of your mouth inside. So, brother and sister, Attajiru. Okay. Now this shata is given to tell you that this letter is shamsi. That is shamsi. Later on you won't need it. Your mind will figure out, brother. Huh? Okay. I always give this example. Don't mind my don't mind my example, so brother. You see, for <coughs> us as non-Arabs, we have to make a special effort to learn all these things. But uh, but a child who is raised in Arabic home, uh, it is in their blood. Uh, all these things are in their blood. And I always say, how come they, it is in the blood? Then I said, oh, now I remember. When the child was born, you know, new baby, the first time that baby sucks the milk from his or her mother, the Arabic is passed on to him. The whole Arabic goes to him eh, with the first sucking of the milk. Okay? They know it. It comes to them naturally. But for us, we have to make a special effort. But we will get there. Allah will help us and we will master it, inshallah. So, brother, whenever there is a sun letter, you will not pronounce Lam. You will not pronounce Lam. Huh? So, let's follow this. Then we come to Tha. See, I put Sun there. Huh? Huh? So, what is the Sun? If Tha, what is the noun given? Athaubu. Huh? Dress. Huh? Athaubu. What is Tajir? Merchant. But the Brother Abdul Samad is a Tajir. Huh? Brother Salim is a Tajir. They are businessmen. Okay? Then we have Jim. Brother, you will pronounce Lam. Al Jannatu. The garden. Are you with me, brother? Okay. Now, then there is a Ha. Al Hemar. Huh? Huh? And then there is a kha, al khubzu, bread. Are you with me, brother? And then we, you see, it's very easy. If you were to memorize it, brother Abdul Qadir, as soon as you come to dal, there's a chain of sun letters. Are you with me? There's a chain of sun letters till you stop at ayn. So these are all sun letters. Huh? So it's easy. So let's remember. Dal, zal, ra, za, sin, shin, sa, dwa, ta, va. Those are all sun letters. And when you will pronounce them with alif lam, you will not pr pronounce lam. Okay. Look at this, brother. Come to number three and go down. Huh? Come to number three and go down. Uh, Addiku, not Aldiku. Are you with me? Addiku. Sister Fatima, come sit next to Sister Naima, here in the front. How are you? Okay, Masha. Nice to see you, sister. Addiku. Next one, brother. Azzahabu. Azzahabu. Gold. Huh? Gold. Sona. Okay. And then brother? Arrajulu. Huh? Arrajulu. Huh? Are you with me? In our book, inshallah, the signs will be given. But later on, we will get used to it, brother. Arrajulu. Huh? The man. Huh? Not Al-Rajulu. Huh? It will be wrong to say Al-Rajulu. 
it will be Ar-Rajalu. We won't pronounce Lam. Why? Because it is a sun letter. Huh? And then, brother, Az-Zahiratu, the flower. My daughter's name is Zahra. Same, Az-Zahiratu. Okay. As-Samaku, fish. See, As-Samaku. Huh? And then, Ash-Shamsu. Huh? No Al. No Lam. When I say, I, I, I shouldn't say Al. I, say, I should say, no Lam. Hamza is pronounced. But if Vau came, put Vau in front of this, you will say, Vash. Even Alif and Lam both were assimilated. Vash Shamsu. Okay? And then brother, Asadru, the chest. Addaifu, uh, the guest. Guest. Uh, Mahman. Okay? And then, Attalibu. Not Al-Talibu, but Attalibu. 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 Fine? Okay. And if you have wow, then it will become Wattalibu. Wattalibu. Then, brother, Az-Zahru. Back. Uh, your back. Okay. Az-Zahru. And then, Al-Lahmu. Huh? Al-Lahmu. Okay. Meat. Okay. And then we have An-Najmu. An-Najmu. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. And we left at number six. Ain, brothers and sisters. Al-Ainu. The I. We pronounce Lam. Al-Ainu. Okay. And Al-Ghadaw. Lunch. Lunch. Huh? Al Ghadaw. Okay, brothers and sisters. Al Famu. Mouth. Famu. Brother? Mouth. Huh? Al Famu. And if it is wow there, then Wal Famu. Okay. Al Kamaru. The moon. Al Kalbu. The dog. Al Mau. The water. Al Waladu. Al Hawau. Huh? Brother? Hawa is not Urdu word. Huh? Hawa is an Arabic word. Most of the, I mean, I shouldn't say most, but so many words in Urdu language are derived or borrowed from Arabic language. Whenever Urdu language needs a word, a new word, uh, she goes to the Arabic and borrows a the word without even saying thank you. <laughs> they just go and borrow it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, air. Huh. Hawa. Air. Huh, brother. I'm sorry, brother. Uh, I, you know, uh, I should translate it because everybody doesn't understand Urdu. Yeah. But it is so common. You know, uh, these like, you'll be surprised, brother Samad, that, uh, Arabic, you know, is is borrowed by so many other languages. And Urdu, 50% of Urdu are so, you can say roughly, or little less maybe. So we have here, like previously we had Baitun, then Al-Baitu, Kalamun, Al-Kalamu. Now we have Najmun, and it will become An-Najmun. Got the idea? So now, Dr. Abdurrahim is bringing... The sun letter. <coughs> Brother, see the wisdom. He will always teach us piece by piece. He did not mix everything together. It would have confused us. Having learned <coughs> up to page number 15, and there he only used moon letters. That is his cleverness. Huh? And now the sun letter comes. Had he used everything together, we would have got confused, you know. The students will say, sometimes you are using al, sometimes you are lam, sometimes you are not losing lam. What's going on here? Now we understand from here onwards that the Arabic alphabet is divided into two parts, sun letters and moon letters. Huh? al huruf al kamariya al huruf al shamsiya Fine, brother. Then Rajulun. 
Rajulun. How will you say definite? Arrajulun. Ar huh? Though we are not practicing, brother. Okay. Deekun. Make it definite. Addiku. Huh? Addiku. Inshallah. Talibun. At Talibu. Talibun. At Talibu. Okay. Very good, brother. Now comes our simple sentence. Jumla ismiya. Al jumla tul ismiya tu. What is it, brother? An najamu ba'idun. Got the idea, brother and sister? Before we did only al kamaru ba'idun. Now we have an najamu. So how will you pronounce, brother? An najamu ba'idun. You did not pronounce lam. Okay. Next one is. Ar-rajulu waqifun. Before we said al-waladu waqifun or al-mudarrisu waqifun. Those are all moon letters. Now we have sun letter. Ar-rajulu waqifun. Brother, as-sukkaru. See, as-sukkaru. As-sukkaru hulwan. The sugar is sweet. Mashallah. At-talibu maridun. Atalibu maridun. The student is sick. What do you find here, brothers and sisters? Bhaptida khabar. What is going on? What's going on here? Bhaptida khabar. There is a Bhaptida and there is a khabar. Huh? Don't uh, move your sight from Bhaptida khabar. Huh? Keep that ready to figure out, inshallah. Addiku jamilun. The rooster is beautiful. Ad-daftaru jadidun. Copy book. Daftar means copy book. Ad-daftaru jadidun. Copy book is new. Huh? The copy book is new. Ad-tajiru ganiyun. Tajir is always gani. Huh? <laughs> Ad-tajiru ganiyun. The businessman is rich. Okay. And then ad See, Dukan you say in Urdu, but it is Arabic, brother. Tajir is also Arabic. ad How do you say? ad Maftuhun. The store is open. Fine, brother. What is nine? See, Dr. Saib is very clever. He brought now a moon letter. Al-Waladu. Huh? Fakirun, the boy is poor. And then, At-Tufahu Ladizun. The apple is delicious. So, and then we have, At-Tabibu Tawilun. Wal. See, now we are putting, saying Wal. We did not pronounce Hamza. Why you did not pronounce Hamza? You pronounce Hamza in the beginning. At-Tabibu you pronounce. And now you are not pronouncing it. Why? Because they are Hamzatul Wasal, it, if it comes in the beginning of the sentence, you pronounce it. And then if something comes in front of it, you don't pronounce. Do you follow? You know, the, the logic behind it? At Tabibu, you started the sentence. So Hamzatul Wasal, there is no sign, you will pronounce. Then we will say, Wal Mudarrisu. Wal Mudarrisu, you did not pronounce Hamza. Okay? Because it's Hamzatul Wasal. Khasirun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Ikra waktu. Ma dapti awakhir al kalimat. Now, put the vowel signs properly at the end, brothers and sisters. But you have to, yes. But ra rather put vowel signs everywhere. Just for the practice of it. Ready, brothers and sisters? What is the first word? Al babu. Is it moon letter or sun letter? Moon letter. You did pronounce. Lam, al babu. Huh? What is the next one, brother? Attajiru. At you did not pronounce lam. Why you did not pronounce? Because it is some letter. Got the idea, brother? Inshallah. Next one, brother? An Najmu. You did not pronounce lam. Because noon is a shamsi, sun letter. Next one, brothers and sisters? Yes, sister, Mamin. Hamzatul Kata. Kata 
you know, Hamzatul Qatha, I, I will explain you later on, inshallah, in detail, when it comes. But it is very simple. You will always see something like this. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Huh? What is this? Akala. Huh? This is a verb. We will be learning soon. Okay, what is this, brother and sisters? Kara, he read. And what is this? Sa, a, la. See, I'm writing Hamza. Hamza is getting a kursi, chair. Plus, it is getting the neck of the ayn. So that is Sister Maimuna, Hamzatul Kata. It will always be pronounced, no matter where it comes in the sentence. But if it is Hamzatul Wasal, only in the beginning. And when it comes, I will be pointing out to you, inshallah. Huh? So, brothers and sisters, uh, okay. How is that all? Hamzatul Vasal means Hamza of assimilation because it gets assimilated with the next word. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. Where are we now? After Al Kamaru, what is the next one, brothers and sisters? What is the next word? How will you pronounce it? Addiku. Uh, why? You did not pronounce Lam. Because it is sun letter. Addiku. Next one, brothers and sisters. Almau. Okay. Asariru. Okay. Now we come to Albaitu. We said Almau. Al Asariru, brother. How will you say? Asariru. Huh? Okay, fine. Uh, next one. Al-Baitu, next one. Al-Masjidu, next one. Ar-Rajulu, Ar-Rajulu. Okay, mashallah. And next one, brother. As-Sukkaru. Put a Shadda on Kaaf also. And do the justice of Shadda. As-Sukkaru. Two Shadda. Shadda on Seen and Shadda on Kaaf. How will you write down, brother and sisters? as uh, How will you write down? Make sure you put Shada and Kaaf, otherwise you will not be pronouncing properly. Fine, brother and sister. Next one. al waraku Fine. Now we have to again exercise number two. Brother, we did exercise number one. What is written on top of it? Tamarinu. What is it written? Tamarinu. This is the plural of tamarin. This is the plural of tamarin. What is the plural of tamarin? Tamarinu. Tamarinu. There is no, no uh, tanwin at the end. Huh? Tamarinu. Huh? Ta. Ma, ri, nu. And we will learn why it is like that later on, inshallah. What's given here? Tell me, brothers and sisters. Khabar is given here. So you got to bring in mubtada. And we have to make it into a definite noun. Huh? So, brother, ghaniyun, somebody is very rich. Attajiru ghaniyun. Attajiru ghaniyun. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. And what is next one, brother? Holvun. Huh? 
asukkaru hulvun huh? asukkaru hulvun next one brother somebody is sick whom do you want to make sick <laughs> al waladu <laughs> al waladu maridun huh? okay fine brother lazizun atufau huh? lazizun or you can say al mauzu banana is delicious al manjo mango is delicious okay tawilun somebody is tall a rajalu tawilun and somebody is very short al kas al waladu kasirun the boy is short al waladu kasirun got the idea brothers and sisters you got to write it huh writing will make you perfect brother it will give you better understanding of the rules that we are learning if you will write the exercise inshallah ikhtar choose choose the word from uh, the first table and choose the second word which is suitable from the second table brother a and b and make a sentence this is a nice exercise الطالب الدكان التفاع الماء الحجر الكلم ها and we have here لذيذ مكسور ثقيل مفتوح مريض حار so what is what is what is the first column طالب مريض ها ماشاء الله طالب مريض so first column is all mubtadas what are they all mubtadas and the second column is all khabar at talibu maridun okay brother at dukkanu maftuhun ma sha allah at tufahu ladizun al ma'u harun al hajaru thaqilun al kalamu maksur okay brother al kalimatul jadid new words okay Are you with me, brother Abdul Khader? Inshallah. Huh? What is the first word, brother? Holvun, sweet, sweet. Maridun, sick. Dukkanu, at Dukkanu shop. Ghaniyun, rich. Tawilun, tall. Fakirun, poor. Kafirun, short. At Tufahu. Okay. See, there is no shadda. anta do you dhamma is given but now your mind knows that that is a sun letter so you will pronounce as attufau you will put a shadda anta attufau when you write do we have to put a shadda uh, anta for, for for the beginning you do it it's better for the hasan inshallah one day if you will continue your studies you will be writing sentences or a small passages without even putting vowel signs because it's all in your head now we come to tamreen last tamreen page number 20 you read <coughs> the following letters and write them huh? with the rules of uh, pronunciation of uh, the letters of sun letters and moon letters huh? okay this i would like you to put proper vowel signs everywhere brother not at al al is understood you know al what is the first one brother everybody al baitu ma sha allah what is the next one at diku so then you will put shadda and dal you will put a shadda and dal next one brothers and sisters al mudarrisu al mudarrisu next one brothers and sisters 
الباب نیکسٹ ون اطالب نیکسٹ ون بردر پراپر پراپر پروناؤنسیشن اسک کارو اسک کارو نیکسٹ ون ادفترو ادفترو نیکسٹ ون بردر الاخو دا بردر نیکسٹ ون الرسول دا میسنجر نیکسٹ ون الوجہو دا فیس نیکسٹ ون الصدیقو الصدیقو دا فرینڈ نیکسٹ ون القرآن نیکسٹ ون السلاتو اوکی السلاتو and then القعبتو دا کعبا نیکسٹ ون how will you pronounce الرأسو not ال الرأسو the head الرأسو okay next one brother الاسباو finger الاسباو finger what is the next one brother السابونو don't think you are reading Urdu this is Arabic Asabunu, soap. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Next one. Azufuru, fingernail. Huh? Fingernails. Okay. And then, brothers and sisters, next one. Al Fajr, morning. Azuharu, afternoon. Al Asru. And then, Al Maghribu and Al. Inshallah. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, we are coming to lesson number four. And I have to explain many things to you in lesson number four. Now, brothers and sisters, in this lesson, we'll start learning the pronouns. We will start learning the pronouns. Okay? And uh, there are two parts in this lesson. We will learn pronouns and then we will start the verb. I will see how much we can do, but I think on Thursday we'll definitely talk about verbs. Maybe a little bit tomorrow. Now when I teach you about verb, brother, I want everybody to be here. This is most important. People always are afraid of Arabic verbs. When they talk about verbs in Arabic, they only say this, Baap re Baap. <laughs> huh? I did not say Bob re Bob. <laughs> okay. they, they are, everybody is scared. But I found Arabic words, verbs to be most beautiful, fascinating, huh? it's logical, brother. And I will share with you, and I'll show you in a way that you will fall in love with Arabic verbs, inshallah. But I will go in detail, slowly, slowly, and explain you everything. That explanation in book, easily. Huh? Somebody has to show you these things. That will be coming in second part of lesson four. In the first part of lesson four, brother, the pronouns are coming. 